All right, I want to go over uh, sort of a, uh, this is a, go over something that was initially pointed out by uh, Michael Tracy with uh, uh, TYT Politics. Um, I will link to the video and article they wrote on this matter in the description below. Uh, so just go take a look at it, watch the video, throw them a like. Uh, I really have a pre this guy especially, he's one of the more recent uh, additions to TYT. And I really have appreciated his coverage on a lot of things. Very even-minded on things, very what are the facts kind of kind of reporting and uh I appreciate and respect that now he is something a, a part of the uh Comey testimony from yesterday or from from the the 8th June 8th that he picked up on uh had to do with the DNC ha the hacks uh, potential hacks, the uh, the sort of the source of the Podesta emails, things like that, and the the Guccifer hacks, things like that, uh, from the the during the 2016 primaries. And uh, I'll read you. I'm gonna read a part of the transcript between a Burr and James Comey about this subject. Burr, okay. When did you first become aware of the cyber intrusion, Comey? The first cyber there was all kinds of cyber intrusions going on all the time. The first Russia-connected cyber intrusion I became aware of in the uh, where of was in the late summer of 2015. Burr. and in that time frame, uh, were you were uh, in that time frame? There were more than the DNC and D Triple C that were targets. Comey, correct. A massive effort to target the government and non-governmental. Uh, near governmental agencies like nonprofits, uh, and basically goes on about the the number of targets uh, in general, because it wasn't just the DNC and DCC, C, and time frames. But anyway, he he gets to a point here where they talk about the actual gathering of the intelligence from the servers. Uh, Comey. Uh, I'm sorry, Burr. Uh, and share with us, if you will, what actions they took. Comey. Well, the FBI had already undertaken an effort to notify all the victims, and that's what we consider the entities as tact as part of this massive spear phishing campaign, so we notified them in an effort to disrupt what might be ongoing, and then there were uh, and then there was a series of continuing uh, interactions with entities throughout the rest of 2015 into 2016. Uh, and then throughout 2016, the administration was trying to decide how to respond to the intrusion activity that it saw. Burr. And the FBI, in this case, unlike other cases that you might investigate, uh, did you ever have access to the actual hardware that was hacked? Or did you rely on a third party to provide you the data that they had collected? Comey. In the case of the DNC, and I believe the DCCC, but I'm sure the DNC, we did not have access to the devices themselves. We got relevant forensic information from a private party, a high-class entity, uh, that had done the work, but we didn't get direct access. But no content? Burr says, but no content. Comey, correct. Burr. Isn't content uh, an important part of the forensics from a counterintelligence standpoint? Comey. It is, but what was briefed to me by the people who were my folks at the time is that they had gotten the information from the private party that they needed to understand the intrusion by the spring of 2016. Now what this means is that this whole uh, this whole thing, this whole uh, the whole hubbub over uh, the Podesta emails and the, the DNC hacks and all that, where supposedly twelve I think it's something like twelve intelligence agencies uh, agree, like twelve out of thirteen agencies agree that Russia porked us. 
all that, all all the stuff, the this whole uh, hornet's nest that has been kicked uh, over this whole thing with with you know Russia trying to hack in the emails and 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 sabotage Hillary Clinton's campaign. All of this intel, this this uh, this crap that got kicked up, is all based on intel gathered by a private company. More than likely, they don't say it specifically in the transcripts, but more most likely, uh, they're basically talking about a company called CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike is a secure cyber security company contracted by the DNC. So basically, this uh, all the int- intel, the intel that the 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 evidence that the FBI, CIA, whoever, whoever like the, that the government's going off of when they say that, that oh yeah, Russia definitely uh, tried to uh, hack the or hacked into the DNC uh, servers. That was all obtained by a company, by a private company. That is contracted by the DNC. So this is... So coincidentally enough, isn't it a very interesting coincidence that the company that the DNC... Uh, is, that, is, that is reliant on the DNC for a paycheck agrees with the... happens to agree with the DNC's narrative wholeheartedly. And this is evidence, like, none of this was, none of this data was verified by the FBI. Uh, None of it was potentially gone over and double-checked. They just took it at face value that this company, who, by the way, if the DNC is not happy with what they're doing, they don't get paid anymore. So they just took this this info from this company at face value and ran with it. And this is wh- where we get this the saying of, oh, the Russians hacked the the uh, tried to hack or did hack into the DNC servers. They're responsible for leaking the Potesta emails to to WikiLeaks. And and that's a problem. That's something I've you know I've noticed, and it happens uh, for, unfortunately fairly often that our government tries to to. to ends up contracting and farming out this work to these private companies. And and don't get me wrong, okay, I'm not like a I'm not a fucking communist or something like that. It's like there are def there's definitely places for private enterprise in our in our world. But there are also some areas where you really need to do that shit in house. Because mind remind uh, remember that this company, like CrowdStrike in this particular instance you know, in, in any of these contractors. They don't get paid if there's not a... Cont- you know, they, they are profit-driven. They are a for-profit private organization. So, for one thing, because they're a private company, what they uncover, the methods that they use, the raw data, this, that, and the other, all that, that information might not actually ever be... Uh, Accountable, like you can't necess- you can't go and file a uh, a uh, a Freedom of Information Act for the records of a private company because they're just gonna be like, "Fuck you," uh, and and that's that's all that's all there is to it. So for one thing, there's a, a lack of government oversight, which we have for a reason, and in addition to that, there's the 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 profit motive, you know, they're they are there not to serve their country or to, to keep their nation secure, but they're there to make money. And so, basically, for them to make money, they need they need a reason to be there. So, you know, it may. So again, this is starting to stray into to conspiracy theory territory, but still, you're in a situation where this company. If they tell you, oh, yeah, this was just a one-off thing, it's, you know, you really need to, uh, you know, keep your ser- your servers updated and, and running the latest software and you're good to go. Like, okay, well, then in that case, I guess we don't need you anymore. Whereas on the flip side, oh, this was a coordinated attack, oh, this was happening, this was happening, and, and it's a continuing threat that will continue to, to, 
to exist and potentially get worse. You need us around to do in to gather intel for you and be in your corner for this upcoming cyber war. Again, they may be 100% right, but how can you be sure? They've got a pretty big motivation, the fact that they need money to survive, for just saying whatever they need to say to to keep getting money, uh, to keep their business. And again, in this particular case, there's a whole situation of, you know, honestly, if the DNC really wants to push that narrative that it was Russia's fault for stealing the election, and the company that they hired to tell them that tells them it wasn't them, the, that Russia didn't hack the, the election or hack into the, their servers, maybe that company stops being employed by the DNC and, oh, look, here's a new one. And you know what? They agree. It was Russia. Again, I'm not saying that it happened. I'm just saying it could happen, at very least, as a potential to look bad. Now, another instance of this, where we we actually do have an instance of uh, potentially stretching the truth, or trying basically trying to, to roll thing, kind of stretch out a few more bucks from the contract, is actually the uh, the case of or the situation between uh, the Dakota Access or uh, Energy Transfer Partners and uh, Tiger Swan. Now, Tiger Swan is a sort of like a Blackwater-esque security contractor who was contracted by Energy Transfer Partners to, uh, or Dakota Access, who is a subsidiary of uh, Energy Transfer Partners. Anyway, they were hired to uh, gather intel and to provide security for against the uh, no DAPL uh, water protectors. Um, so basically, uh, you know, they were there to provide security slash crack some heads, so on and so forth. And, and, and additionally, one of the things they did is they gathered intelligence and actually gathered evidence to use against some of these people when they were arrested and tried, which considering the evidence they gathered is supposed to be used against the protester in cases where they are claiming to have been assaulted or harmed by Tiger Swan. And Tiger Swan's collecting the... Anyway, that's another matter for another video. The point is, during the once the, the pipeline was pretty much complete, uh, according to the reports I've come across for it, Tiger Swan started handing out, started saying things, releasing like reports and memos saying about to, to energy transfer partners about oh, gee, you know, just because the pipeline's complete, it doesn't mean that problems are going to go away. You know, these, these like, eco-terrorists or, or uh, uh, people here, like, they're likely to continue. You know, the battle's not, the war's not over just because, just because oil's flowing. You should totally keep us around and keep paying us to continue uh, security and to continue gathering intel into these protesters. So again, the profit motive at work. And again, it is potentially possible that they're right. But it's also very possible that they just want more money. Another you know, an example of that. And not to mention, too, that these things are also, these uh, groups are also a lot of times wrong. For example, and uh, Michael Tracy talks about this in his video, uh, during the French election that we recently had, uh, like a day or two, like as soon as it happened, you had two, uh, two internet, two cybersecurity companies, um, Trend Micro and some other one with a stupid name, Flashpoint or something, I think, coming out and saying... Oh yeah, see this. It's it's Russia. It's Russia. It's a it's the same. It's the same thing. It's the same same accounts or same emails. Uh, I think at one point they even said like, oh, well, look at this. Uh, you know the the uh, 
the metadata on one of the documents uh, showed that the, the computer that it was saved on was in set to Russian language. Which, it's not that hard to edit metadata. <laughs> okay, anyone can change the, fr the fucking language, what it says in the language thing. And also, too, just because you speak Russian does not necessarily mean you work for the Russian government. So, but anyway, they made those assumptions that, oh, see, that these private companies, look at this, we, we're experts in this, and this is obviously the work of, of uh, Russian interference with, your, with the French election. Yeah, until a few days later when the actual French security services got a hold of it, and they reviewed all the data, and said the exact opposite, like, no. No, there's no, there's no evidence here. It's like this is it's circumstantial at best. It in no way proves that Russia was involved. Uh and you know, how do we know that the same thing didn't happen with uh the DNC, with the DNC's uh, emails that were and servers that were never examined by the FBI or actual government like security experts never actually looked at the physical devices. They just got reports and data from CrowdStrike, the company that whose paycheck is dependent on keeping the DNC happy. So, uh, now that's, that's all I have on that. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, like, leave a comment below. Uh, let me know, again, let me know your thoughts, your opinions, how, what you feel is going on here, whether we should or should not be trusting private corporations with our national security, uh, and anything else. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.